Hey everybody, welcome to the WordPress Wednesday. I'm gonna teach you today how to insert a picture into a Google Sheet. Forget Excel spreadsheets. It's so difficult to put a picture into a spreadsheet. Not anymore inside of Google Sheets. I'm gonna show you, there's an obvious way how to do it, but I'm gonna show you a better way how to do it. Uh, so if you're living inside the world of WordPress and you're trying to create your content calendar, uh, I use Google Sheets. This is a great way for you to do it and insert that featured image for your WordPress website or whatever you're trying to do, uh, add a picture in there so that you can use it in your social media feeds. Uh, this is the great solution for you. For those of you who are inside the WordPress world, I have to give a shout out to Pressable. If you're looking for uh, a way to speed up your WordPress website and make sure it loads quickly and is super secure, if you're looking for a team that can answer all of your support questions, that's Pressable. Check them out. I'll put the link in the description box below. All right, y'all, do you wanna learn how to do this? Because it's pretty darn super cool. Um, th there's the obvious way of inserting an image into a cell, right? So we're gonna come over here and do insert, and we're gonna come here to image, and we're gonna just select it from our desktop if we want to. We've got a couple other things you can do by URL, by snapshot, so take a snapshot of your screen. Uh, you can go into your Google Drive, all sorts of different ways. For the sake of now, I'm just gonna show you. This is a really bad way to insert images uh, into, into um, uh, a sheet, because watch this. I'm gonna upload this picture, see what happens, and you've probably already experienced this, and that's why you're doing a Google search right now for how to insert images into a Google Sheet. Look how weird that went. It doesn't even fit into the cell. So you can grab it and kind of resize it or something, but it just kind of floats a little bit, and it's just weird. So how the heck are you supposed to actually put an image into the cell uh, in, in a better format? Uh, so here we go. I'm going to show you here how to insert images in a Google Sheet. Let's go here. I want this column, this particular cell to be a preview. So I want the actual thumbnail to live here. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep the URL of the image as well. So what that means is I've taken a picture and I've just gone over to my WordPress website. I've gone into the media library and I've uploaded it. And once you do that, um, you can click on uh, edit and you can go into the picture itself and you will find the path of where that file now lives. So you're gonna copy that little path, this one right over here, right up above me, grab that URL, copy that on your clipboard, and you're gonna come back over to your spreadsheet. This is the tricky part, get ready for this. Are you ready? Because I'm ready, here we go. Uh, in the cell where you want the picture to actually preview, I want you to type equals, we're gonna go into formula mode here. Don't get intimidated because it's super easy. Image is what you're gonna type, okay? And then it's gonna open up and put an open parentheses. I want you to put quote marks, so an open quote, paste in your URL and do a close quote and a close uh, parentheses. Do you see this up here at the top? That's what it looks like. Click enter and check that out. There's my little picture perfectly nested inside of that cell, beautifully there, available for anybody in the team to take a quick look and be sure that we're using the right picture. And then if they need to have that URL so that they can download it for the post, you can obviously paste the URL, because it's still on your clipboard, in another column that you can easily reference uh, where to go grab that image and use it in all your social media, your featured image, on your WordPress website, wherever you need to. Pretty cool option, right? Uh, it sits in there and it's never gonna interrupt the other cells around it. I'm gonna show you a little bit more advanced stuff. I don't know if you knew about this, but once you do that, you've got a couple of options on how to size it in this space. If you wanted to, you can add a comma after your, oh, let me back up for a second. See, even, even we make little mistakes. I'm gonna come up here in the top and open this up. Uh, you're gonna add a comma, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a number two in there and click enter. See how it stretches it to fit my cell? So if I wanted to have a larger space to kind of preview it a little bit bigger, I could open that up and I have a nice big open and it still fits that cell and stays with me. If I needed to move this whole entire paragraph or, or this whole entire row, I could slide it around and move it around and it's gonna stay with me. So that's a really cool super feature. Um, you can do an option three and that's actually gonna put it in that tiny cell at full size. Uh, so that's, that's an interesting feature. It's up to you if you want to do it that way. And there's also a final fourth option. Type in the, word, uh, the number four um, and do another comma. And you can actually put in the exact size of the image. So if you saw over on your website 
um, on your WordPress website, it's going to give you your dimensions of the actual original size of the file. You can come here and just type those in 922 comma 1604 um, or was it 40? What was it y'all? 1640. Okay. Gotta, gotta remember those things. There you go. Click enter. And again, it's going to always, no matter what, keep that original file size living in there. So pretty cool options, you guys, huh? How to put a picture inside of your Google Sheet. I hope this helps you. If you have questions, put them in the thread below. I'd love to answer them as best as I can. And be sure to subscribe to my channel because every Wednesday I'm creating a video just like this to help you improve all things WordPress. Bye-bye, y'all.